Part 1 Skeletal Anatomy In this video lesson, you will discover how to draw a reclining model figure in red pencil. In this part, we will examine the skeletal anatomy. The spine has characteristic arches at the neck, ribcage, waist, and pelvis regions. Every region is arched into a position that is opposite to the previous one. The sacrum is the central structure of the pelvis. It consists of five vertebrae fused together into one triangular bone. Just below the jaw, you can see the U-shaped bone. Sometimes it is referred to as a tongue bone. The eighth, ninth, and tenth ribs are false ribs. This comes from the fact that they are not attached to the breastbone directly, but instead, in the front, they are connected to the costal cartilage of the previous rib. The remaining ribs, from the first to the seventh, are true ribs. The larger bone of the lower leg is the shin bone. The upper edge of this bone is also part of the knee joint. The lower edge of the shin bone is part of the ankle joint. Another bone of the lower leg is called the calf bone. At its bottom edge, it is positioned lower than the shin bone. This is why the outer ankle bone is lower than the inner one. At the top, the calf bone is connected to the shin bone. The shaft of the calf bone is slimmer than the shaft of the shin bone. The right leg of the model is foreshortened even more, thus it appears much shorter in this drawing. You can also see that the top and bottom parts of the calf bone are also quite close to the skin surface. This also can be said about the knee joint. The shaft of the thigh bone is located beneath a deep layer of muscles. This bone reaches close to the surface at its top and bottom ends.